Hello everyone, my name is Deckerlink the Trained on Professional, and welcome back to Extracurricular Activities. On the last episode, we started back up with the Spencer route, and now we're going to see the day where we go to work, and then we move our stuff, and then we're going to be living with the boys, so, yay. <laughs> nice work, Mute. Nice work. Everyone like the live stream? Do it. Leave a like. Smash that motherfucking like button. You can just click it. You don't have to smash. Urk, so early. Need to shower and get to the cafe. I have a busy day ahead of me. After I get off work, I'll be moving my stuff from here to Spencer's place. It's hard to believe that I'm finally getting back on my feet, and I'm really looking forward to getting things back on track. Okay, just gotta get out of bed. It's a big day today. Looks like another busy morning today. I'd better get inside and get started right away. We've got one person who noticed. <laughs> or at least one person who said something about it. You went to the cafe and Hal was at the register. He waved at you as you made your way into the, uh, into the, to the back room to grab your apron. Yeah, I can't read with this fucking hair like this. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. Nice and visible. Holy shit, everything's in HD now. God damn. Oh, your phone's on 9%. God damn. Thank you, Despa. <laughs> okay, I need to get the tables cleared, dishes loaded, and the outside cleaned up. I have no time to slack off today, and I don't think I need, uh, I need to wait that extra ten minutes to get started. Hal needs me now! After donning the, your apron, you move to the dining room to set about clearing the tables from any dirty dishes and trash. You had a small tub you loaded the dishes into before wiping the table down and moving on to the next one. Then, when the tub was full, you rushed off to the kitchen to load the dishes into the washer. The process continued for several hours, as there was a constant flow of traffic in and out of the cafe. You were so into the zone of getting your tables cleaned off, you never noticed the man moving behind you and you spun around so abruptly you knocked his drink out of his hands. Dude, what the hell? Look what you did! Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. Let me get this cleaned up. I'll get you a new drink. I don't have time to wait for a new drink, asshole! I'll have it done right away, then. Just give me a moment. what I just say? I don't have time to wait! I, I'm sorry. It was a complete accident. Just... just let me... Ooh... We done made a mistake right out the gate. Do we offer him a free meal? I don't know if we're in the... In the position to do that. I think offering free meals willy-nilly is not something we're in the position to do so. Um, but, uh, oh, no. No, Kira says offer the free meal. Um, that's one vote for get the free meal. I probably would have said go for how to get how, but Nepside also says offer the free meal. And so, and so does Christian. Throw some hands. Unfortunately, that is not an option. Hey, kitty cat. Alright, well, all the votes seem to be going for offer him a free meal, so we shall go with that. Let me offer you a free meal on your next visit. Any lunch combo that you want, it's on us. I hope Hal doesn't get mad at me for this. Huh. Yeah, sure, I guess that'll work. Oh, good, just give me a second. You rushed to the counter, grabbed a business card, and wrote a, wrote a note on the back of it. You initialed it and rushed it back to the customer. Just show this next time you come in and the meal is free. Alright, you should be more careful next time. With that, the customer left. Whew, I need to be more aware. <laughs> a free knuckle sandwich. I don't remember what Hal's voice was. What happened here? I knocked a customer's drink out of his hand when I turned around. I... Offered him a free meal on his next visit to keep him happy, since he claimed he didn't have time to wait for a new drink. I, I'll i pay for that. I just thought it was the best sort of course of action to keep the customer happy. I see. 
Well, good thinking. You don't have to pay for the meal, and I'm glad you took the initiative to defuse the situation yourself. Good on you. Oh, thank you. Whew, that's a relief. <sighs> Just be more careful about your surroundings from now on. Definitely. Go ahead and clean up the mess, then take a break. You have slowed enough down where you can take a breather. Great, I'll gladly take a break. Get on it, then. He cleaned up the mess she made, then retreated to the back to relax a moment. Whew, I can finally sit down and take a break. It's, it's been bu a busier day than I expected it to be. On the plus side, it makes the day go by way faster. After a short break, you were back on your feet and out in the main dining room once more. The flow of customers had picked back up, but it eventually slowed once lunch was over. The time for you to get off work was approaching, approaching quickly. I expected today to drag by, but it's been so busy I haven't really had the chance to stop and think about it. Yes, Jose, sorry. It, it is that day. Now, though, it's getting closer and closer to the time for me to say goodbye to the shelter. Over a year later, and I'm moving out of that place. And of all the people to be helping me, it's my best friend. <laughs> and he just so happens to be my boyfriend now. It's crazy how things worked out. I never would have thought that he had feelings for me. You lost yourself in your thoughts while you continued to wipe down tables and clean around the room. It wasn't until you felt something tickle your ear that you were yanked out of your own world. Get what? Oh, hey Spence, you're kind of early. Early? Aren't you supposed to be off work already? What time is it? It's already a quarter after three. Oh, I lost track of time. I had no idea. You must have been really busy if you lost track of time like that. The same goes for Hal. If he hadn't noticed, if he hasn't noticed, you're still working, and it's past time for you to, and it's past time for you to be gone. Yeah, it's been a busy day. I guess I'll go make sure Hal's okay with me leaving. Things are pretty slow now, so I should be all set. Take your time. I'll have a seat outside. Hey, Hal. Oh, what is it, Adam? Unless you need me for anything else, it's time for me to head home. Oh, you're right. I didn't even notice the time. Oh, is it gonna be another fruit bad stream? Oh my god, of course, of course it is. Be <sighs> oh, my brother's gonna be trying to head to work just when that scene pops up. I guarantee goddamn to it. <sighs> Things are finally let up, so you're free to go. Thanks for your hard work today. Same time tomorrow? Yep, same time. What the fuck? Alrighty, I'll see you tomorrow morning then. I'll see you then! Hi, Rams. You took your apron to the back room and went outside to meet Spencer. Looks like ev looks like everything's good. Yeah, he said I could go. I gotta be here back here at the same time tomorrow, too. Then no staying up late for you tonight. Well, come on, let's get going. I have a surprise for you. Surprise? You didn't have to get anything for me. Who said I got anything for you? I just said I have a surprise for you. Oh, pfft. You'll find out what it, is, what it is once we get back to the shelter. Okay, okay. Welcome back, you two. Oh, she's wearing her hair down, looking nice. Thanks, Maria. Hey, Maria. You just got back from work, Adam, so why don't you go clean, why don't you go clean up? I'll entertain Spencer while you do. Sounds like a good idea. I'll leave you two alone for now. I don't like the sound of this. Hmm? What's wrong? My room's already empty! Well, it's not all empty. You have a fresh set of clothes on the bed still. But everything else? It's already been moved. Richard and I took care of it. You had, enough, you had everything ready, so it just took us one trip. It was easy enough. It was easy enough. They didn't want you to have to do any moving since you had to work this morning. And you can spend the rest of your time just relaxing here with Maria. You guys! I appreciate that. I guess I'll go take a shower now. Go then, we'll be in here. You grab the pair of clothes left on your bed and pause in your doorway on the way out. With a deep breath, you close the door behind you. Man, hot shower will feel great. Yeah, hey, Richard. Hey. Ah, you guys were right. He did have a picture in the in the old style. 
Thanks for helping Spence move all my stuff. I really appreciate you two doing that. Mm -hmm, no problem. It was easy enough. Looking forward to being out of this place. I guess so. You guess. I've been here for so long, it's basically home. I'll miss it a bit. I suppose I can understand what you mean. I'll kind of miss having you around, other side from you and Maria. I don't really talk to anyone else. Looks like I'll have to try and talk to some of the others and they come around here. Though none of them really stay long. I'll be back to visit you guys and we'll be inviting you and Maria over to our place too. We'll have to cook for you guys one of these nights. From what I know, I don't know if I'll be willing to eat anything the two of you cooked. Pff, I guess we'll we just have to invite you guys over and have Maria cook for all of us then, alright? That might be the better option. Anyhow, hop in the shower while the hot water's hot. I just finished, so you <coughs> shouldn't have to wait for it to heat up. Ah, perfect. He stepped over to the mirror to examine his face, and you moved to the stall. He stripped down and hopped into the shower as quickly as you could. You still noticed him glancing sideways at you before you got out of sight. Don't take too long. We'll be waiting for you. Gotcha. Never expected Richard to really care, but since it's nice to know that he's to, that he does. Just makes things a little harder for me. Hmm, there you are. Spencer grabbed you by the hips and pulled you to him. Then he buried his nose against your neck, snuffling around. Max Spence, what, what are you doing? That tickles. Just making sure you're clean. I'm clean, as I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> Aw, mute. You are. I'll have to ask Marie what kind of soap she buys for the bathrooms, because I like how it smells on you. Its brand, its brand is New Flavor or something like that. I think the scent is in there is called Clean Beast. Just refilled them the other day. I'll have to get some of some of that for you then. I'll have to get some of that for you then. It smells really good. That'd be great. I really like the scent too. Good. I'm really looking forward to this whole thing. Me too, Spence. The week has just flown by for me. Stop getting into the cans. You jackass. Me too, Spence. This week has just flown by for me. Hasn't it? I can't believe it's already Saturday. Oh, hey! Hi! Thank you very much, Dilly, for the donation. I really appreciate that. Hello, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mute. Hasn't it? I can't believe it's already Saturday. You have a, the, a place ready for me to sleep, right? Yep, all your stuff is in the other room now, and the futon is good to go. The room is a little bare right now, but we'll add more to it soon enough. It'll be okay. I didn't have much e here either, so it's not too big of a deal. Didn't think it would be. Enough standing around, though. Let's sit and talk. Sure thing, but where's Maria and Richard? In the kitchen. He sat on the couch beside Spencer, and he put an arm over your shoulder. Maria's prepping a big meal, so it's get going to take a little longer than normal. Oh, okay. Any idea what she's making? No idea. She wouldn't tell me, so we both have to wait until it's ready. In the meantime, we can just talk. Did you have something in mind you wanted to talk about? We can chat about whatever. I have nothing particular in mind. Okay. I guess I should ask, do you have any kind of rules or anything I should keep in mind? Huh? Like stuff I shouldn't mess with, or anything you like to keep in a certain order in your apartment. Hmm. Uh, you need to see... You can see their... Mm, oh, fuck. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good I fucking idea. Mmm, you can see there was no order to anything, really, so that's not a problem. You can have company if you'd like. All I ask is that you let me know beforehand. I mean, this is going to be your place, too, so I don't really have any rules. If anything comes to mind, or if you do something that bothers me, I'll tell you. 
please do. It's still your home, and I don't want to overstep any boundaries. Just do what makes you comfortable. Like I said, I'll tell you if you do anything something to bother me. Okay. Oh, hey, D hey, Darius. Oh, I do... Oh, I do expect a little privacy, at least. I don't expect you to go rummaging through my things. <laughs> That's kind of a given. Though I'm curious about what kind of dirty little secrets you have hidden now. You already know what secrets I have, so there wouldn't really be anything for you to find. <laughs> if you say so. If I catch you going through my stuff, you'll be slipping on the porch, capiche? Don't worry, I won't mess with any of it. Definitely makes it, so makes it sound like he's hiding something, though. But what would it be that he'd not tell me? We aren't supposed to be keeping any secrets from each other. Good. So that's the only rule I have to follow for now? It's not even a rule. It's more of a common understanding of boundaries. It's not. I'm. I'm not gonna. Con con I'm not gonna confine you with rules to abide by, Adam. Just act like you. Like you own the place, okay? I know you're a smart, responsible person, and I trust that you'll not do anything disruptive. If you do, I'll just handle it then. Uh, okay then. It's just I don't want to do anything that'll annoy you. Then just relax and don't overthink it. Got it? I'll try. I'll have one way that might help you relax. He put his paw on your leg and dragged his fingertips up and down it. What way? Oh, I don't know. You were watching his hands and you felt his warm breath on your ear. I was thinking we could have a little fun, you know. Have a little two-player action. Well, I, I guess we could. I, I think that'd be fun. Great. I found my old Mega Nintendo and hooked it up earlier today. Everything worked great, and I had some, I have some of the games I used to play on it. We could play it. You better not have just pissed on the carpet, you fucking jackass. We can play together. We can take a nice we can take a nice nostalgia trip later and maybe help you feel more at home. We can stay up late playing video games, bringing in on junk food and having a good time. Sounds like fun, right? Yeah, sure. That'd be great. <laughs> you can't change Darius's name. <laughs> It's possible to have two people named Darius. You'll be fine. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. What's gotten you all flustered all of a sudden? Despite your glare, he kept a veil of innocence draped over his face. We can't stay up too late since I have to work. Don't worry, I'll make sure you're up and ready for work in the morning. I'm giving you this one time to be irresponsible with me and just have fun. It'll be like we when we were, when we were younger. <coughs> He pulled you over against himself and chuckled. It really sounds like a fun time to me. <laughs> yeah, it sounds great, Spence. You two have room on the couch for me? Of course, Maria. Scoot over, Adam. Oh, I get to be sit in the middle. It's the best place, isn't it? Sitting between two handsome... What? What? Why is she saying sitting between two handsome men? Yes, it's the best place if she's gonna be on one of the sides. I don't understand. You and Spencer moved away from each other and allowed Maria to sit between you. I very confused. You know, when you leave, this place will be so much quieter. What a relief, right? What? No, not at all. It's always so nice to see your face and talk to you. Aside from you and Richard, I don't interact or interact much with the others here. There aren't many of them, and they always seem to come and go whenever I'm not around. You're right about that. I can't think of ever seeing anyone else here. They aren't social like Adam is. I really will miss having him around. I'll definitely miss you too, Maria. You're always so happy and friendly. It makes coming back home always pleasant. Not to mention, I'll really miss all your cooking. I don't know if, I can, if I'm getting a fair deal out of this move. You can stay here if you'd like. <laughs> no, he can't. He's going with you. Wait, now you don't want me. 
It's time for you to get back out there and get your life on track. Oh, uh, yeah. I love having you here, but I knew this day would come eventually. I expect you to take good care of him, Spencer. I'll do what I can with him. Why, why do you say it like that? I think you two would be just fine together. Can I bring him back if things don't work out? Spencer! No, you have to keep him! Wow, thanks you two. <laughs> You're always welcome here, but I don't want to see you back for anything more than a visit. And I guess I'm not going to let you want. And I guess I'm not going to want to let you go. Fucking weird. Something about right today. I don't know. Something about today is bad. I can't read worth a shit today. There we go. I wonder if Darius has any room for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm only joking. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> well, maybe being in the middle isn't the best idea in this case. Where you spend a little longer with you before returning to the kitchen to finish dinner. Before long, she was calling for you and Spencer to move the table as dinner was about to be served. Move to the table as dinner was about to be served, and you both relocated to wait. Man, whatever they've been cooking smells great. I can't wait to see what they've done this time. Same here. I really, I'm really looking forward to the final good meal I'll ever have. Come on, my cooking isn't that bad. That brand, though. It was an accident. The rest of the dish was fine. Mm-hmm, that's true. Man, see if I cook for you anymore. Looks like I'll be the one doing the cooking then. I'd like to see you do better. Is that a challenge? Oh, it is. I'd like to see you cook something better. And if I do, you can have the satisfaction of knowing that there's at least one thing you can do better than me. Arrogant much? There are other things I'm better at than you. Oh yeah? Name one. Uh, there's... Uh, that's what I thought. I'll think of something. Good luck with that. You two had better not. St you better start. You two had better start getting along real quick. <laughs> it's just some playful teasing, is all. Nothing too serious. That all. That's all. It better be, since we're about to eat. We're all, We are going to enjoy this meal together. Jesus. What the fuck is going on here? Tori, I think they're being... They're like... I, it's, it's getting tense. I don't... Jesus. I don't... I don't like the tone of that comment. <laughs> Yeesh. It's hard to focus with all this stuff going around. He's right. It's nothing serious, Maria. We're just having some fun with each other. Until I destroy him. We will enjoy this meal, Adam. <laughs> you had better listen to her. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Richard, you can bring it in. Richard entered the room carrying a large covered platter. He placed it on the table before you and then left with Maria to bring back several more dishes. Once all the food had been brought in, they joined you at the table. If you would, Spencer, remove the lid from the platter. With pleasure, I've been waiting for this. A gush of steam escaped from under the lid when it was removed and the air was filled with the smell of cooked meat. Ooh. The plot was covered with chunks of grilled chicken and steak, all surrounded with a mixture of vegetables. Richard has been out back cooking the meat while I prepared the other things in the kitchen. Everyone looks like it. Everything looks like it turned out perfectly, Richard. No doubt I wouldn't. I might not be that great in the kitchen, but you put me in front of a grill and I'll bring tears to your eyes. Howdy. It smells amazing, Richard. Now let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. You better hear you better damn well believe that it'll taste as good as it smells. Grab a piece and find out for yourself. Gladly. Dig in, boys. There's more meat in the kitchen, and just in case this isn't enough. Make sure you eat some vegetables too. <coughs> 
With pleasure. Thank you both for preparing this meal. Yeah, thanks, guys. You're welcome. Now eat. I know I'm ready, too. You ain't gotta tell me twice. You and Spencer showed your enthusiasm for the meal prepared by piling your plates to the edges with meat and a variety of side dishes Maria had prepared. Oh, Richard, why have you never grilled for us before? Nobody's ever asked except Maria. Did you think she's the one that cooked and used the grill out back? I never even thought about it. Since she's such a good cook, I just assumed that she used it from time to time. I'm afraid I don't grill. I can, but I don't like the smoke blowing in my face. And the smoke is one of the best parts. It smells so good. But it sticks to your clothes, and there's only so much I can take of that smell. Ah, well, I'll ditch these clothes as soon as we're done eating. I don't mind. I don't mean to bother you. Come now, you're fine. I can hardly smell it since that's not all over my own clothes. We'll have to get a grill too, Spence. I bet we could make some good food with one. Ridge will show us how, I'm sure. You know it. Nobody's better on the grill. You buy the meat and I'll teach you boys how to cook it. That sounds like a great idea to me. Then when I get paid... Ah, oh, I was supposed to pick up my paycheck today, but I forgot. I'll have to get that tomorrow. At least you don't need it for anything today, right? No. Then you should save your money for now. I'm sure I can handle getting us a grill if you really want one. I can help buy the food to cook on it, at least. Maybe. Just worry about what you really need for now, and I'll handle the other things. But now get back to enjoying this amazing food. It's so dang good. Really, Richard, you've outdone yourself. Of course I did. I ain't just gonna half-ass it. Is everything to everyone's liking? You bet. Your sides paired just right with the meat I cooked. Perfect all around, ma'am. Mm-hmm, he's right. Everything's so delicious, Maria. You both prepared a fantastic meal. Can we move on? Like, because I'm on a diet. I, <laughs> I ate one egg sandwich for lunch. Like, <laughs> That's all I get for the next four hours. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't say anything they haven't already. I can't say they have. I can't say anything they haven't already. So yes, everything is to my liking. Wonderful. I have the perfect dessert to follow along with this. So be sure to clean your plates, otherwise you don't get any. And she'll hold you to it. Trust me, I've dealt with it before. I don't kid around when it comes to eating all your food. If you put it on your plate, you're gonna eat it. <laughs> I'll be sure to eat everything I get then. Same here. Dinner carried on, and once all the plates were empty, you and Spencer cleared the table while Marie and Richard relaxed. With the table cleaned, it was time to chat and relax a moment before moving on to the dessert. I can't believe this is the last meal you'll be having with us as a resident of the shelter. I know, it's really hard to believe, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It was just sheer luck that I happened to come across you, too. How did you? I don't think you ever told me about that. Adam, do you mind if I tell him? Sure, okay. Well, I was on my way home from the store, and I decided to detour through the park. There was a light rain, I had my umbrella, and I just wanted to enjoy a nice peaceful stroll. As all you know, there are several gazebos scattered around the park, so I decided to sit at one and just enjoy the surroundings. That's when I noticed Adam's makeshift tent. They don't forbid stuff like that in the park. They do, but he was hidden away in a grove of trees in a more isolated part of the park. <laughs> Y'all going crazy in the chat, I swear to Jesus. And you just went up to him? What if he was some park murderer? I'm not, though. She didn't know at the time. Oh, hush, Richard. Curiosity got the better of me, so I went to investigate, and sure enough, I found him curled up under the tarp and and with another tarp and what, what belongings he still had. I spent some of the rest of my money on those tarps, too. I only had enough money left for a few days' worth of food. It still makes me mad that you didn't come to me. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I asked him what he was doing, and after some coaxing, I got him to tell me the reason. The rest, you all know. He came here and has been here since. Oh, I never questioned why you had me come pick him, come pick him and his stuff up at the park. 
I guess that explains it. I don't typically ask about anyone that's brought here because they don't usually stay long. This guy has been a different case though. I'm pretty terrible at finding jobs, I guess. I don't think anyone here ever gets a job. They just stop coming back. Uh... A couple of them have gotten jobs. But you're right, they do stop coming back. I'm glad Adam has stuck around, though. It's been quite the pleasure getting to know him. You have no idea how much I appreciate what you've done, Maria. And it's just how, and just how thankful I am that you found me in the park that day. I was stupid and too embarrassed to do anything else. I really don't know what I would have done had you not found me. Well, no sense in worrying about that now. Look at how things turned out. Yep, you got a job, you're moving out of here, and you're gonna be with your boyfriend. Mm-hmm, all good things, right, Adam? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, all good things. Well, I think it's time for dessert now, so let me get let me get that. I hope you all have room now. Bring it on, I'm ready for it. Maria left and returned shortly after with a large bowl in one hand and a large plate in the other. Woman, you should have told me you needed help. Let me get one of those. Oh, I'm fine. I have it under control. And what do we have here? Richard took the bowl from Maria and placed it on the table. The first one here is a homemade banana pudding. It's a favorite dessert of mine, next to my chocolate cake. And that's what's under the other plate. And you expect us, you expect us to choose between the two? Heavens no! You know you want from both of them! I'll be sending part of what's left home with you, and the rest will stay here with for Richard. Yeah, you can't send it all home with him. I won't let that happen. There's plenty to share, so have at it. She took her seat at the table again as everyone passed around the desserts. You took your time enjoying it, chatting with everyone as the night crept forward. It wouldn't be much longer before you and Spencer left for home. Even after the dessert was taken away, you stayed at the table. It wasn't until Spencer squeezed your leg and motioned his eyes towards the door that you knew it was time. You know, I think it's about time for us to head out. But we... we're still talking. There is always another time for us to talk, but Spencer's right. You need to get settled in and you have work in the morning. You have a lot you still need to do tonight. She's right. You need to get going and make sure I didn't break all your stuff. Or that I didn't forget anything. What? I'm sure all your stuff, all of his stuff is fine, Richard. You guys are very careful with everything. Oh, I'm gonna miss you so much, Adam. I really am gonna miss seeing you so often too, Maria. Do come back and visit, okay? That goes for you as well, Spencer. You're both welcome for dinner anytime. I'll make sure he comes by. We'll need a good meal every now and then. He's right, and you'll have to come by once we get everything settled in together. Really get settled in together. You can bet we will. Indeed, we will. Maria pounces towards you and wrapped her arms around your neck, hugging you as tightly as she could. I'm so happy for you, Adam. I feel like you've come such a long way since you got here, and I'm just so happy for you. After a long hug, she released you and looked to Spencer. Your turn! She embraced him next. And you, you'd better take, and you, you had better take good care of him. I don't expect him coming back to me, telling you some story of how you're terrible to live with and how you treated him poorly. I'll come take care of you myself if that happens. Just what kind of monster you think I am? The best kind, so it's why I don't expect it. <laughs> she still thinks you're a monster, though. He implied he's a monster first, so who am I to judge that? I guess I did put myself in that position. I know I keep saying this, but I'm really happy for you both. You're both starting a new chapter in your lives, and I don't think you could uh, have and I don't think you could have been with anyone better for it. Thanks, Maria. I'll have to thank you for taking care of him as well. There's no telling where he would be had you not found him that day. Probably in jail or something. I swear to god, like it's <laughs> If Dinewolf knows how much I hate that fucking word, that he's just putting it in every update just to piss me off. <laughs> Pff, well, I'm sure he would have figured something out. He's a smart man. There's no telling, really. And you'll never know just how thankful I am for you, Maria. You've done so much for me. 
Thank you so much. I'm always here if you need me. If you guys need help with anything, you can always call me too. I'm the cheapest handyman or mechanic you'll find. Good to know, Richard. I appreciate it. Well, you two should really get going. Otherwise, we'll just keep going in circles and it'll be harder for me to let you go. She's right. We should be heading home now. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I guess. Uh, yes, I'll see you later. You will! Don't forget to let us know when your matches start, too, so we can come watch them. We still have to do that? Yes! <laughs> Be sure to tell you guys. Grenmer, again, Maria grabbed you in her arms and hugged you. Take care, Adam. I will. Thank you, Maria. Come here, you two. Really? Come here, you two. It's best that we don't argue with her. Uh, you're right about that. Spencer and Richard stepped over to envelop you and Maria in a group hug, pulling you all close together. <laughs> Richard, you smell like the smoke. It's making my eyes water. Gee, then why'd you call me over? You knew I... Uh, whatever, I'll clean up soon enough. You felt one large final squeeze from those around you before everyone stepped away. Okay, okay, you two run along now. Be sure to let her know when you're home. We will. Thanks again for dinner. It was wonderful. Oh, don't forget the leftovers, Spence. I already have them in your work clothes, so if you're ready to go, let's go. Oh, okay. And yeah, thank you for dinner. It was so great. I can't wait for another meal like that. Eh, anytime. We'll see you guys later. Hurry up and get going. Yeah. Come on, Adam, let, Adam, let's go. See you guys later. We'll see you later. Okay, there we go. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was really looking forward to this. It's just a little tough saying bye to them. You know, you'll see the, You know you'll see them soon. You'll, you know you'll see them again, though. So they live so close to us, it's really easy to come visit. I know, I know. Let's get you home now. It's time for you to start getting settled in, and we can decide what we want to do from there. Does it sound good to you? Yeah, it does. Spencer puts his hand under your chin and lifts your eyes to meet with his. You know, I'm really happy that you're going to be with me so much more now. Me too. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather, Spence, spend my time with. <laughs> you're so damn cute at times. He kissed you while still holding your chin, and it wasn't some quick kiss either. It was powerful, sending a tingling sensation all through your body as his lips danced with yours. Let's head home now. Okay. He released you and gave you a gentle push towards the car. It was time to head home. All your stuff's in the other room now, so if you want to go change clothes or anything, go for it. I'm gonna change and put this food up, and then we can play some video games. Go ahead, start making yourself at home. Make myself at home, huh? I think one of the first things I want to do is to take care of the light in there. Why don't? Why doesn't the room have a real light? We'll have to ask him about that later. For now, I think I'll I'll change out of these clothes. My new room, huh? Uh, looks like all my stuff is here. I'm gonna have to get some shelves or a desk when I can. I wonder if it'll be okay to put my computer on the ta kitchen table for now. Yeah, I guess I'll worry about that later. For now, I'm gonna put it put on some lounging clothes. You changed from one outfit into something more relaxing and returned to the living room. Everything in order in your room? Uh, yeah, it is. Everything's there. I'll definitely need a desk or some shelves. Maybe I can find a cheap one in a thrift shop or something. We'll get that taken care of soon enough. You ready to play some games now? Sure, it sounds fun. Believe it or not, but I'm really excited about this. Oh uh, yeah? I couldn't tell you the last time I did something like this and I've been looking forward to it all day. <laughs> well, let's get started then. Is he not gonna put on some shorts or something? It's so distracting. 
We'll play something co-op, but after we play something, but after we'll, we play something competitive, I'm in the mood to crush you at something. I should have gotten more water before I did this. I probably shouldn't have done this anyway. You couldn't beat me at anything when, when we used to play, so what makes you think you can beat me now? I'm older and wiser, not to mention I think I have an edge over you right now. He patted the spot on the couch beside him, and once you sat down, he set up everything for you guys to play. When was the last time we had a late night gaming session? Mm, several years at least. It's been that long, huh? I have not played Camp Buddy. I see that Uki has, but I also don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know anything about the game myself. It's been that long, huh? Yeah, we have not really had the chance in a long while, I suppose. Mm hmm. We don't have to worry about it that we don't have to worry about that anymore, though. We're living together now, so we'll be able to do this whenever we want. Uh. Yeah, you're right about that. What game am I gonna kick your butt fat for your butt fat first? Uh, fuck. What game am I gonna kick your butt at first? <sighs> Got crackhead hair. I swear to God. You mean get your butt kicked at? It's Tetris Attack. I love Tetris Attack. <laughs> I love Tetris in general, but Tetris Attack is not at all like Tetris. It's actually a match blocking, a, a block matching game uh, that is centered around the Yoshi characters. <laughs> you choose the you chose the one I was best at, so I hope you're ready to lose in your dreams. I don't want to know about Camp Buddy. Could it really be that bad? Like, is it just, is it, is it really that bad? <laughs> What's the problem with it? But no, I, I apparently don't want to know, so I'm like, maybe I shouldn't even ask. I don't, I don't know. If you beat me, I'll rub your feet for you. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna get pampered tonight then. Yeah, Tetris attacks a real game on the SNES. It's the only SNES game I have anymore because I'm getting rid of a lot of old shit in order to get ready to move. If I win, though, you're rubbing my feet. That won't happen, so deal. For the next hour, you and Spencer went head-to-head -head in the game he chose. And for that hour, you beat Spencer round after round after round. Okay, one more time. Best of three. Spencer, I've beaten you the best of three like ten times now. I've been shutting you down as bad as you shut me down on the courts. I think it's safe to say I won our little wager for this game. Let's stop. Let's swap controllers. I think my buttons are sticking. Come on now. Be a good sport about it. I won fair and square. Um... Oh, yeah, I'm not into the, to the age stuff, I don't know, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I won't be playing that one, Uki can have that one all to his goddamn self, if you want, we can play another versus game and you can try again, if I win again though, you have to rub my feet and legs, all right, fine, but we're still swapping controllers. Okay, okay, if you insist, we'll swap. Spencer went to swap out the games, and you noticed his fur was all bristled out while he did. <laughs> Poor Spencer doesn't know how to handle losing. Maybe I'll go easy on him during the next game. All right, give me your controller. You're not going to stand a chance now. This time it'll be as one-sided as, as when we're on the courts. Nah, it's time to put him in his place. No mercy from me. What'd you choose this time? Extreme Kart Racing Turbo 2 Max Championship. Dinewolf and these fucking names. <laughs> oh man, you 
chose another one I'm really good at. I hope you're really ready to taste defeat again. In your dreams. The races of the next game were close, but every time you pulled ahead of Spencer, nabbing far more victories than he did. He was still sitting on the edge of the couch and his tail was flicking madly behind him after he dropped his controller. I lost again. Hey, don't feel bad about it if I recall correctly. I've already always won at these games. It's been so long since we played, though. I thought we'd be on equal ground. Some things never change, huh? <sighs> uh, how about we play something cooperative now? I don't want you to be a grumpy pup my first night here. I'm, I'm not grumpy. You just growled, and your tail is lashed around like it's on fire. Wait, I growled? You growled several times. Even the fur on your neck is ruffled out. I only ever saw that when you really get angry or annoyed. He ran his paws over his neck for a few times and took a deep, in a deep breath before sighing. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was getting so worked up about losing to you. I'm definitely not used to that. <laughs> clearly. We were supposed to be just having fun, right? Yeah. Here, I'll go get us some snacks and drinks and you can pick out the next game we play. Sure thing. Spencer left and you glanced over at the games he had laid out. Hmm, Ultra Plumber Brothers 3. Monkey King. Kirby Star Cor Corby. It's Corby's Star Cores. Course. Art Knock. Art Knock. Who the f what the fuck is that a pun on? Art Knock. I don't know that one. So many games we can play together. I think we'll just stick with Plumber Brothers. That one's always fun. You replaced the game cartridges in the system with one that you chose and got comfortable on the couch while you waited for Spencer to return. Alright, I popped some popcorn, grabbed a bag of chips, and got a ba box of cakes and a few cans of soda. You weren't kidding when you said junk food, were you? Just like old times, right? I'd say I haven't had this stuff in a while. Same here. We're gonna have to work double on Monday to make up for this. Tell me about it. Spencer dropped back onto the couch after laying the snacks out. So what'd you choose? Ultra Plumber Brothers 3. Good choice. Since we alternate turns, I guess I can handle this handle this during your turns. What's that? He grabbed your legs and pulled them up to his lap across his lap. Comfortable? <laughs> yeah, I'm still good. Then let's start the next game. You can be player one. Oh, what a privilege. Don't make me take it back. No take backs. Spencer passed you the controller and you started up the game. During your turn, Spencer rubbed your, watched you running through the levels while rubbing your ha his hands over your legs and feet. His paws were warm and he squeezed and worked over your legs, stopping only just above the knee. Your focus was split between the levels and his hands touching you, which led you to die often. After the other two games we played, I'm surprised to see you doing so poorly now. Shut up, you're distracting me. Blaming me, huh? He dragged his fingers along the underside of your foot, causing you to jump and get yourself killed in the game. Oh, holy shit. Oh, thank you, Tore. Tore. Tore Asuma. Asuma. Tore Asuma. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he dragged his fingers along the underside of your already said that. See, that was your fault. Mm-hmm, sure it was. I guess I can stop if it's really distracting you. Of course you say no. Of course you say no to that. You want him to keep going. But, uh... I, I think, of course, we're saying no, so that he, he keeps going, but... What do y'all think? What do y'all think? We gotta vote for no! No! Another vote for no! 
Another vote for no! Another vote for no! Another vote for no! A vote for yes, but it was as a joke. So, no! <laughs> we'll go with no. No, it's fine. I'll get through these levels one way or another. That's the spirit, you can do it. As he said that, he ran a finger along the other side of your foot again. You winced, but held back the urge to shy away this time. <laughs> time for me to beat my level now. You two continue playing the game, munching on snacks and sipping on soda to keep yourselves going. Spencer no longer tickled your feet while you played, but he did continue running his paws up and down your legs, stopping every now and then to massage your feet. Periodically, you had to shift your legs around to stretch them and say to say to, to, to stay comfortable. And it wasn't until a few times later that you noticed each time you did it, you were rubbing your leg against his crash bulge. From that point on, you were highly aware of your leg touching it. He... he feels like he's kinda hard, too. Does he even realize he is? Damn it, it's starting to make me hard, too. I haven't even... hadn't even thought about that until now. You tried to discreetly adjust yourself, but it was hard with, the, with your leg stretched out across his lap. Are you still uncomfortable? You're fidgeting around a lot. Uh, sorry, my, my back is a little sore. I think I need to sit up normally. Then sit up, you dork. Don't hurt yourself. You did as he said, swinging your legs around to the front of you, and you caught him adjusting himself out of the corner of your eye. The time just melted away, and you were starting to feel the effects from being up so early that morning. <coughs> you caught yourself starting to nod off, and Spencer noticed it too. <coughs> yeah, I think it's getting time for us to turn in for the night. It's way past midnight, and you look like you're struggling to stay awake. Mmm, yeah, I think so too. I've been having so much fun, though. <laughs> Despo's calling for the fruit bat. Oh, man. I don't speak that language. <laughs> what, do I need the bat right now? Blap! I mean, you're not missing much. Me too, but you have to get work in the morning, so I have to work, to, and I have to work tomorrow evening. We need to rest. You're right, I guess it's time then. Can you make it to bed? The room's right there, I think I'll manage. Do you really think I'm gonna make you sleep in there? Before before we do that... I don't... Oh, yeah, shit. You want me... Woo -do -do -do. You want me to sleep in your bed? I already told you, not having you there lately has been lonesome. I mean, if you'd rather sleep by yourself, it's okay. I'm not gonna force you. Sleep with him, goddammit. I don't think I want to sleep alone tonight. Me neither, so come on. Brush your teeth and let's go to bed. Another night in his bed, huh? I wonder if he intends for me to just sleep there every night, or if it's just because he's lonely tonight? Either way, I can't complain. I really was looking forward to sleeping with him again. After making preparations for bed, you were lying on your back in Spencer's bed waiting for him to join you. You were still wearing the clothes you had changed into once you got there, and when Spencer finally crawled into bed with you, you could tell he was still wearing the same thing. You both just laid there on your back, staring up at the ceiling. Oh, damn, Stilly, that sucks! So, you're really living here with me, huh? Mm-hmm, seems so. Kinda hard to believe still, isn't it? Yeah, I never dreamed I'd be living with my best friend. Or that my best friend would end up becoming my boyfriend. Crazy how life works sometimes, isn't it? It sure is. Spitzer rolled over on his side to face you. Hey, sorry if I got a little annoyed earlier while we were playing those games. 
You were on to your side, so you could look at him. Eh, don't worry about it. I'm not used to seeing you like that, but I admit I was kind of amused by it. Amused by my anger? <laughs> it's just the side of you I don't really get to see, so it didn't bother me any. I guess I did kind of feel bad crushing you so badly all night, though. Well, don't expect it to happen again. I know how you play now, so I'll be able to handle you better next time. I'll be looking forward to it. His palm moved up to your cheek as he stroked over it a few times. Man, you look so great right now. But why do you say that? The moonlight's coming through the curtains just enough to make you glow. It's really something else. My heart is swelling just thinking about how long I wanted you to be mine. And now, you are. I don't think I could be happier. I don't think I could be either, Spence. I love you so much, Adam. I... I love you too. He pulled his hand off your face and ran the back of it over his eyes. <laughs> Something's in my eye. After rubbing his eyes for a moment, he turned his attention back to you as he moved his body closer to yours. He wrapped his legs up with yours and wrapped his arms around you, pulling your, his, your chest against his. Ah, oh, you're... you're so warm. Is that bad? Oh, it's nice, and your fur smells really good. You put your face into his neck and sighed, inhaling the scent deeply. You smell good too, even if the soapy scent is really faint now. His paws traveled up and down your back as he held you there. You managed to get an arm over his side, so you returned the favor, rubbing your hand over his back. You immediately slid your hand up under his shirt, though, letting your hand run through his thick fur. Your fur is so soft, too. I love it. It's, I use the best shampoo, so it just stays that way. Mm-hmm. Don't change that ever. <laughs> Don't plan to. He followed your lead and pushed his paws up under your shirt as well, pressing his fingers into your back. Oh, okay, I'm getting... Jesus, you're freaking me out whenever the chat is like, Get the button ready! Oh my god! I'm like, oh Jesus! There's gonna be a flying dick just showing up out of nowhere. Your hands continued to rub over each other's backs, but Spencer was becoming more affectionate with you. Mama Spaghetti! <laughs> My dream car is a Jeep. Ooh, nice. He rubbed his chin all over the top of your head, then muzzled against your cheek, giving it a gentle kiss. His paws were beginning to stray away from your back, moving over your sides down to your waistband, down to the waistband of your shorts. His fingertips went so far as to slip under the band just slightly. He didn't hold back any either, dragging your fingers over his side. You didn't just, he, he, you didn't just put, you didn't put just your fingertips into his underwear, though, and instead slid your whole hand down his outer thigh before withdrawing. Rough. <laughs> there was no hiding, and now you were hard as a rock pressed up against him, and you could feel him pushing back against you. He ended up tossing the blanket aside to release all the heat that you two had generated. Sorry, my fur is really thick, and I got hot under these blankets sometimes. I get hot under this those blankets sometimes. It's fine, I'm pretty hot too. Mm -hmm, I know. <laughs> hey, if it's funny. <laughs> With a lustful growl, he grabbed your hips and pulled you toward him, grinding hard into you. He matched his lips to yours when he did, kissing you passionately as he grinded against you. His gentle rubs and squeezes evolved into more forceful groping while kissing you. You couldn't resist any longer, so your hands started pushing his shirt up, and it only took a moment before both of your shirts were tossed to the floor. Your hands were no longer to on his sides, and they were moving up and down his chest. You traced your fingers over the muscles so you could feel through his fur, and he just laid on his and he just laid on his back while you explored his body. Like what you feel? You know I do. His fur was just a soft on his chest, and you felt you could lay there and just run your fingers through it all night. You wanted to get your hands on the other thing on other things, though. 
After several squeezes to his chest, you flicked your finger over his nipple, making him grunt. Hey, be gentle, they're sensitive. I'd say that they perked up right that perked it up right away. You lightly pinched his nipple between your finger and a, with a chuckle. Spencer growled again and rolled over on top of you, pinning your wrist down by your side. Let's see if yours are the same. He didn't flick your nipple, though. Instead, he doubled over and bit one between his t front teeth. It wasn't a very hard bite, but it did phase you. Boo, that's no good. Eh, sorry to ruin your fun. He nipped both of your nipples, trying to elicit a response, but you noticed his full hold on your wrist had loosened. You used that chance to free your arms and grab his waist, pulling him down so, his, so your bare chests were pressed together. He resisted, though, and you ended up wrestling around on the bed trying to pin each other. Eventually, you ended up pinning him on his stomach, with your chest pressed into against his back. He was panting heavily, but you couldn't help but f help uh. be feel like he let you win. Uh. It was still an invigorating feeling, though, feeling like you had bested him. You leaned over and rubbed your face into his furry neck, grabbing his shoulders and giving him a, a squeeze. So did you let me win? Or, hey, I'm pretty tired from the day. I just don't feel like struggling. Mm-hmm, I'm sure. You made no attempt to hide your boner as you thrust slowly against his butt. Again, Spencer growled and you felt him pushing back against you. Man, if only I had some protection right now. Oh, what do you? What would you do if you did? Do you have to ask? I do. What would you do? Well, I guess we'd have some other fun. Such as? You know we could have sex. Our first night together and that's what you have in mind, huh? Or, well, after what we've been doing. You put more of your weight down on him and laid your head against him. I, I'm sorry, you know, he just, you know, he got me turned on right now we couldn't do that last time and so who says we can't this time hmm Tom drawer my nightstand by the looks of it there's only one drawer on his nightstand <laughs> so I'm looking at it right now at the lamp and the alarm clock that is one drawer <laughs> what is it your eyes had adjusted well enough to the when you rolled over and sat on the edge of your of the bed you could see what was in his drawer. Wait, you... You got condoms and lube? Earlier today, I knew I was gonna need it, and to be honest, I was planning on it being used tonight. So, if you really want to give it a shot, I... I'm willing to try. You glance, you glance over your shoulder, and he was still lying on his stomach, hugging a pillow under his head while wagging his tail in the air. Our... Are you saying that you better decide quickly before I change my mind? Your dick jumped at the thought. You pulled out the items and placed them on top of the stand before rolling back over to Spencer. You positioned yourself on your knees with your crutch pressed into his bit. And then you leaned over onto all fours so you could grind against him again. You know what? I'm going to be safe. I'm going to be safe real quick because I don't know when it's going to pop up. And you're not really seeing anything right now other than in the fucking picture of his bedroom. So, eh, might as well big ass picture of a strawberry with a smiley face you position yourself on your knees and crouch pressed into his butt then you leaned over onto all fours so you could grind against him again he growled at you pushing his butt up against your crotch as you pressed his face into his neck inhaling his scent deeply you want this as badly as I do don't you <sighs> just take it easy with me will ya are you are you really sure about this Spence Damn it, Adam, you're gonna make if you're gonna make me reconsider this if you don't get started already. Okay, okay. You scooted backwards and stared at Spencer's butt for a moment. You had never really gotten this close to it before, and you couldn't let the chance pass you up. With both hands, you grabbed his butt and gave it a squeeze, swirling his cheeks around. Damn, it's so much softer than I thought. What a fine ass. You think so? Uh, I, I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> it looks like he, it looks better bare, you know. You took a deep breath and grabbed the wrist, waistband of his underwear, being careful as you pulled them down. Spencer raised his hips up, allowing them to slide off easily, and once they were tossed aside, 
He sat there for a moment, admiring Spencer in the moonlight, filtering into the room. Ah, oh, there's just a... <laughs> this has not been programmed properly. There's just a random picture of a wolf ass up in the, like, top left corner. <laughs> God, he's so hot. How does it look now? As good as you said it would. He was looking down at you now. You can't do anything with all your clothes on, so you might as well take them off too. Yeah. He rolled onto his side so he could watch you as you undressed. It was a little embarrassing having him watch you, but once you were naked, he gave you a little howl. Aru, you look good too. <laughs> Thanks. You crawled back onto the bed, and this time you laid your naked body on top of his. Your hands found his paws, and you wrapped your fingers up with his, keeping him held down on the bed as you kissed over his head, neck, and even the top of his back. All the while, you had your hard kirk prebbed slowly against between his cheeks. Uh, you feel her fur feels so good against me, Spence. Mm, tell me about it. I love how you feel. You were having a hard time resisting going any further right now, but as you continued to rub and thrust your cork against his bit, you even went so far as to try and pressing it between his cheeks, but he stopped you there. Wrap your tool up before you go any further than that. And there is no way you're going in dry. That's, that's just not happening. <laughs> it's Monday Night Raw, motherfucker! <laughs> He reached over to the nightstand, grabbing the bottle of lube and a box of condoms, passing them back to you. Your fingers fumbled over the packaging as you opened everything up, trying to get ready. You dropped things several times in an attempt to open them. Everything alright? My, my hands are shaking so much, I'm having a hard time opening these, these things. Spencer rolled over on his back and sat up, giving you a good view of the wet-tipped erection between his legs. He held his hands out to you, and you could see his fingers trembling as well. After a moment, he grabbed your hands. I'm not always calm and cool myself. I love you, Adam. And you've been with me for such a long time. And let me tell you, there's nobody else in the world that I'd rather do this with than you. Spence. It's okay to be nervous, I think. This, this is definitely a first for both of us here, so... Let's take it slow and enjoy it, okay? Okay. He pulled, he pulled you in for another kiss, and while he kissed you, you, he released your hands and grabbed your cork. His hand was hot, and he stroked up and down the length of your shaft several times. You gasped through his lips, grunting as he teased your meat. When he pulled back, he was grinning broadly. I hope that gives you some extra encouragement. Having said that, he got on his knees and repositioned himself with his with his pillow but under his head, and he raised his butt in the air. There's that booty in the upper corner again. It's not even it's not even sized properly. It's hilarious. With newfound determination, you got the condoms opened and the lube ready. His butt was raised high for you, and his tail was swaying back and forth slowly. You... you might need to get me ready first. I can't say I've had much practice. Get him ready, huh? You got on your knees behind him and put your hands on his butt. Your f yours fingers sifted through his fur and you, you kneaded and scratched over his rear end. His tail flicked against you constantly, almost like he had no control over it at this point. It seemed to be working on its own. We have three options here. Uh, the three options are ask what you should do, lube him up, or tease him. <coughs> I think what he meant was obvious, lube him up would be my choice. But what do you all think? <laughs> uh, my green screen is not working as well as it used to. Uh. Yeah, damn. A 
Oh, everyone's saying tease. <laughs> Newfound determination. Did you change your game to Undertale? <laughs> While the fruit pack was up. Everyone's saying tease, so we shall tease him. I think I'll tease him a bit more. You slid your cork along the cleft of his butt while holding onto his hips. As you continued this motion, you became more bold. You pulled your hands back to his cheeks and spread them apart, letting your meat slip between them. You huffed loudly as the sensation of all the hot fur around your cork was causing you to leak precum and smear it through his hair. Uh, what, what are you doing back there? Just a little payback. You pulled away, admiring the cork and balls dangling between his legs for a moment before grazing your fingers along his sick. His body shuddered and his cork bounced. You weren't done just yet, either. Your hand moved from his thick to his cork hanging, to his cork hanging down, and you stroked his hand over it several times. Stroked your hand over it several times. You made sure to take your time, feeling over the hot flesh while making him fidget. You ran your finger across his swollen head and found that he had a dribble of prickum hanging from it. <laughs> You're ready, aren't you, Spence? You're dribbling pre. Sh shut up and get on with it already. You chuckled and patted his butt as you grabbed the lube. You squirted a dollop of it onto your finger and took in a deep breath. Using your clean hand, you spread his cheeks apart. Even through the darkness, you were able to see Spencer's puckered hole. <laughs> Jesus. With the flesh in sight, you smeared the lube across it. Spencer gasped, and you could feel his whole spasm under your finger. God, that's... that's cold stuff. Oh, man, I didn't even think about that. You did nothing other than massage the lube against the hot flesh, and that seemed to be more than enough for Spencer at the time. He had his head down on the pillow, and you could hear him moaning as you put more and more pressure behind your finger. Let's see how he handles this. With his hole fully slathered in lube, you began pushing your finger into the tight space. Spencer's body tensed up, and you could feel the resistance to you penetrating him. <clears throat> you okay, Spencer? Yeah, I'm okay. Just, just keep going in slow like that. Your fingers sunk into the fur. To the fur. Okay, I. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone, but uh, we gotta. YouTube ain't gonna allow this. <laughs> I'm going to not be reading it from this point on. I gotta synopsize it so there's fingering. Oh my god, there's like, oh, call him good boy. All oh, of course. He said, that's a good boy, my whole finger's in there. You heard Spencer growl and press together. Oh, yeah, he seemed to like that. Alright, so he's adjusting. Uh, ready for the real thing. Ready as he can be. He's getting the condom on. Oh, get to see another picture. Or our translucent body. And, oh, and, and it's happening. <laughs> There's no face to be seen. Uh, oh my. And there we go. Yeah, it's, okay. Alright, so there, there, oh my god. Uh, oh, he does have a cute face. But I can't show that. There's far too much on screen. <laughs> Alright, I think it's I think we're good now. Blap. Spencer didn't speak. You only heard him panting against his pillow. He didn't even wait for you to pull out as his body went limp and he flopped down onto the bed. Right after you fell onto your side next to him, and he did, and all he did was turn his head towards you. Hey, hey, how you feeling? Exhausted, spent, you. Same. You moved closer to him and put your face against his. You were both breathing heavily and sweating profusely. 
So, you want me to finish you off? You... you don't have to worry about that. He rolled onto his side and you saw his cork was already going limp as he was matted with coom. I was so into it I couldn't help but jerk it when he was feeling on top of me. I'm starting to regret making such a mess all over my bed now, but I'm too tired to care too much at the moment. We can take care of it tomorrow. Mmm, -hmm, the whole room smells like sweat and gum now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wash everything. He laid over his back and as he moved over against him, laying your head on top of his chest. I'm gonna be sore at work tomorrow, I'm sure. There's no way I'm taking off my pants after what you just did. Tomorrow will be a low tip night. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. They get a little rough at the end. I was asking for it, so I don't can't blame you. Can't say it's ever been nah, so turned on either. Same here. I never expected you to say some of the things you said. Hey, you were pretty vocal too. <laughs> sorry, Jaro. YouTube doesn't allow it. We both got caught up in the moment, huh? We did. It was a fun experience for sure, but I could be on top next time. <laughs> oh, okay. He nuzzled against your face and let out a soft, rumbling growl. Mm, I love you, Adam. I love you too, Spencer. You pulled yourself as close to him as you could, running your fingers through his fur while until you met his, felt his breathing settle and heard snoring from his snout resting against your head. Gonna have to be up really early to get myself cleaned up and ready for work tomorrow. For now, I'm going to enjoy the afterglow. Hey, there's a day after this. Holy shit. Oh, oh shit. The music is very intense right now. Is he late for work? Oh, God. Yeah, he was, took the wrong bus to work today. How'd I manage that? How did he manage that? Well... We will be seeing how he managed that in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching this with me. Uh, sorry, again, you didn't see much, but that's YouTube policy, brah. I can't do nothing about it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained unprofessional, speaking for the voices in my head when I say, until then, fare thee well. Bye, everyone! Awkward pause while I go to click the button, and the button has been